Hello. Now you might be thinking, Simon, why have you gone and built a survival shelter? Well, funnily enough, that's what this video is about. Survival is a strong word. I've got really good 5G, a bag full of Harry Bow, and there's a Londis about 20 minutes that way. All right, it's 12 o'clock, pretty much on the dot. And I have arrived at Abbott Wood. I'm going to call this place home for the next 50 hours. Abbott's Woods. Just like a lot of stuff in England, it's blooming old. Named from the times of Henry I in the 1100s. Seven Henrys later, the woodland became a bit of a dive when Henry VIII started making up new religions so he could be polyamorous. But in 1964, this rather beautiful 360 hectares was in fact restored and is now home to some stunning trees including fir, hazel and hornbeam. It's a stone's throw from Polgate and Hailsham, a bit of a knob ache to get to from Brighton. Simon, what are you up to? Well, for a while I've had this sort of idea or fascination with camping without a tent and just some very basic tools. So in the next 50 hours, I want to see what I can build in terms of building, yeah, a little campsite basically. It could either be glorious or fucking useless. My first port of call is going to be finding uh, a bit more elevation. The ground underneath me is super soggy, super boggy. So I want to get myself a little higher up. Uh, I checked the forecast and I think it is going to rain later. So throwing myself in at the deep end, eh? And aside from the threat of waking up in a bit of a swimming pool or mud bath, call me a princess, but I'd kind of like a room with a view. Poor rabbit had a heavy vindaloo. Jesus. Right. I'm going to leave my pack here for a bit. I think this is the right sort of area, but I'm going to scope it out, find the right kind of foundation for what I need. There's plenty of this dead wood on the ground, which is A-OK. -okay. It's kind of the highest point I've found. The ground's relatively... Yeah. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It's now 20 past one. I think I've found my spot. Look, I'll show you. Come with me. Come with me. It's dry ground. Trees I can use as a canopy. Sleep underneath. Nature's canopy. Some pre-cut logs. I don't know about you, but they look about bed height. A nice dead tree that's offering me plenty of dry firewood. And most excitingly, I said I wanted a view. Just check this out. probably about time I showed you what we've got to work with here. I obviously need some tools. So with me I have brought an axe, some paracord, a bushcraft knife, an auger bit, a pruning saw and a tarpaulin. It being October and all, I haven't got a crazy amount of time to get this done. I've got about four hours of sunlight left. So I think we'll start by making a base and uh, just see how we go from there really. Base is king. I believe that the amount we can build and create is a byproduct of time. Time is a valuable resource that not many of us have in abundance, and as long as you're not being a depressed potato, free time can make way for some serious instinct to build rather than destroy. Why do I want to do this? Really, it's very simple. I want to shit in a hole for two days. It's uh, 10 past three. Made a good dent on a bed base for now. So I've got two, three more hours of good sunlight left. I haven't had lunch, so I'm gonna use, or I've gathered enough leftover wood from cutting all of this stuff to make some kind of a fire. Man, that was a super tricky fire to start. It's taken ages. I think just where there's been so much rainfall the last few days, everything's sudden. But perseverance, look at her go. Fire being as much of a problem child as it is 
I'm going to stockpile a load of wood and try and get it to dry out whilst it's burning. Save me a job for the dark and then I'll get back to making my bed. Comfortable. It's a funny word, isn't it? Not one I'd really use to describe it. As pretty as it is, time is a factor and I need to find a way of uh, keeping these from sort of sliding around whilst I'm asleep. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. But let's shimmy on. Chaffed to pieces with those little notches, they worked wonderfully. None of me slats are moving about. As you can see though, the sun's very dramatically gonna start disappearing momentarily. So I'm gonna have to resort to using the tarpaulin, which is kind of hoping to avoid, but such is life. Uh, so I'll get me tarpaulin strung up. I'm starting to get a pounding headache as well. I think I need to just eat a lot more. That's where I'm at. answer to the question what can you build in 50 hours the time is now 18 15 6 15 for common folk as you can see the sun is going down so the answer is not very much <laughs> to show how important calorie intake is eh, when you're doing stuff like this. Well, true of any day. Uh, after this, gonna watch a film and go to bed and contemplate my life choices. Much the same as if I was at home really. I'm in. I'm under me tarp. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rain. The forecast is adamant it is. But I've done all I can. Everything is in waterproof bags, belt and braces. I've had the best evening actually. Um, playing with the fire. Mainly playing with the fire, to be honest. I'm just faffing about. It's gotta be, what, 10 o'clock now. Time flies, eh? But it's so nice, it makes me feel like when I was a teenager, me and two of my mates in particular, Rob and Chris, alright, we used to get up to this sort of stuff and yeah, it was, it was wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to try and get some sleep, hope the rain doesn't wake me up with a pitter patter on tarpaulin. It's amazing, you know, when we're teenagers you want to act grown up. You go into the woods to escape any figure of authority. You play with fire, stay up late, do semi-dangerous things and learn lessons about life, nature, physics, and get a taster of how huge and varied life can be. As a grown-up, you yearn for those younger years again. I miss it. There's no connection like the ones earned through shared discovery, stupidity, arrogance, and innocence. 4.25. In the morning, and here it comes. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining, coming in thick and fast now. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think the natural canopy is doing the bulk of the work for me. The walls have definitely caved in a little bit. Hey buddy, you interested in my curry? No such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing, am I right? First things first, 
coffee and breakfast. Yeah. Whilst my coffee's boiling, I mean, I'm glad I brought that power from burner actually, I was in two minds about that. Uh, whilst my coffee is boiling, I'm gonna gather way more materials. I need an awful lot more for what I wanna do today. So I'm gonna go scavenge to the max. So my coffee's done. Whee! Beans and sangers are cooking, ready for breakfast. I got one pretty good haul of wood in the time it took to boil the coffee. But this rain is here with a vengeance. It is fucking chucking it down. Soldier three. Five choices. Whilst the rain is unrelenting, I'm going to clear this space a bit, hang a tarp there, so at least I've got a place to attempt to start a fire. See how that goes. actually pretty chuffed for that that'll work for now uh, I'm gonna try and get a fire going in a bit which I've never done in the rain but I've read it's possible what we're all really here for a poo with a view I'm washing up system the time is now damn thing's broken about 20 to 2 so I'm over the halfway mark doesn't look like this rain is gonna let off anytime soon and even if it does it's gonna take ages for anything to dry uh, so I'll just put it on eat me porridge at the third stroke the current time sponsored by Acuus will be 15 21 and some seconds <laughs> building hasn't gone as planned today I need to lift the tarp to be able to do what I had planned I drew a sketch and everything I'll show you on the screen um, but I've got all these materials and isn't that what doing this stuff's about anyway it's problem solving it's like when someone plays a video game or something we're sort of wired to be presented with problems and try and solve them. I guess the rain is just another one of those problems. And my current problem is getting a fire going. So I soaked this paracord in ethanol earlier and hopefully that will give me enough sort of beginner fuel to get this thing started. Leave something for my son and my daughter in case of my departure. For my little ones, my real ones, for people trying to feel some. I'm happy with that. I've always wanted to start fire in the rain. With my fire now going good and strong, and some logs just drying off on the side, I think it's time for me to renovate the kitchen and dining area. Maybe some kind of seating and uh, some sort of stove top would be just, uh, just uh, simply wonderful. Control the ship, navigating through the eye of the storm, live through the lows, got me higher in form. Mate. Come on, how's that for a bench? It's sturdy, it's comfortable, it's good for my lumbar support. Yeah, man, love it. This kitchen dining area is not complete though. I need to have myself a stove. So for this stove, I'm gonna need a particular heifer of a tree uh, and I'll have to cut this section out here. Doesn't this particular tree remind you of the bit in Jurassic Park with those little tiny dinosaurs? Come <laughs> on! 
Saying something about it being wet and falling. If you get it, you get it. Soldier so now you got buyer's remorse. I stay composed when them blood suckers hit me with a tireless swarm. I've been down but never finished. Been bound to higher limits. Walking past up in the thinnest. Almost lost myself within it. Oh. That was incredibly tough. But look at that. It's through and through. Now I'll put some wood in there and use it as a stove. <laughs> Same as all things fire related, this Swedish chimney thing has been a nightmare to light. I think that log burner would work really well if all the little tiny twigs around were dry. So it does still have one good use. Drum roll please, for tonight's dinner we have chili chicken soup for starter, golden vegetable savoury rice with chicken tikka masala for main and a sprucey little apple fruit bar for dessert. What a day, eh? <clears throat> Made it through the day of torrential rain. I'm still bone dry. My stuff is still bone dry. I did want to upgrade my shelter a bit, but managed to start a fire in the rain, which I'm super chuffed with. Uh, it's about 20 to 10 now. So just, what's that, 14 more hours to go until home time. But truth be told, I'm loving it. I'm having a great time. It is now 08.27 in the morning. I woke up a bit earlier than this. It's a beautiful misty day. There's mist all over the trees and hills. It's very pretty. Uh, it means I've only got five hours left until I leave, right? <clears throat> if my maths is okay. Same as usual, I'm gonna start a fire, have a coffee, eat some food begin to pack up I think which is going to be sad as I have my final pot of coffee my beans my porridge and I let the fire die out of its own accord I start to pack up my things I've got this overwhelming sort of sad feeling it's almost left more questions than answers imagine if I had a hundred hours imagine if I had 200 500 1000 hours what could I achieve I mean, look at the truly insane and mental things we humans have achieved in our time. Who knows what stuff we have achieved that has been lost through memories over time. Time, the very thing that allows us to build, and the very thing that ultimately brings it all down to. But as the campsite comes to a close, there's still just one more thing I desperately need to do. So there we have it. The time is 12.48, which means I've got just over an hour. It'll take me about that long to wander through the woods. Uh, if you ever want to come here, the what three words are dairies, boils, voter. Come here, add to it, try and make more of it, or just come and visit. If you do, feel free to tag me in the uh, Instagram thing. It'd be awesome to see someone come to this spot it's a really nice area of the woods and i have thoroughly enjoyed it it may not be much but i'm somewhat sentimental to it i gotta go harder in case of my departure the exit is in sight with just five minutes to spare See you later, Abbotswood.
Real joy. See ya. Have fun. Ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Why don't you try watching this video?